Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another rainy day on the world's rainiest Minecraft server, Philosophy SMP. And uh, actually, today is not an official Philosophy SMP episode. Today is an episode of Lost on the Way. We're going to run a few errands, and I have something I want to talk to you guys about. I want to stop by the mailbox real quick, and I want to check the store. So in today's episode of Lost on the Way, I want to talk about purpose. I want to talk about uh, my understanding of it based on what I've been reading in Claim Your Power by Mastin Kip and just kind of share that information with you. And uh, that's basically it for that part. There is something else I want to talk about too, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So, according to Mastin Kip, your purpose is an emotion. It is a feeling. It is not something you do. It is not something you are. It's not something you say is a part of your identity. In other words, your purpose is not going to be, I'm going to be a YouTuber, or I'm a YouTuber. That's not going to be your purpose. I see our arrow counts. I got one in the back of my head somehow. Anyway, uh, that wouldn't be your purpose because that's something you do. That is not going to be your purpose. The purpose will be a feeling. An emotion is what Mastin Kip calls it, which I assume also means feeling, that you want to share with the world. It's something that fills you with joy, fills you with bliss. I haven't read much further than just the introduction to part two or section two, and that's what he's saying. And this feeling that fills you with bliss makes you happy and you want to share that with the world your purpose is of course the process of that feeling sharing it with the world so the best way i can think to illustrate this would be to give you an example so we are going to pick on good old scar again oh looks like i got an arrow in my foot uh scar is in recovery right now before he goes back to the hardcore world i'm hoping to let see him finish up and i'd like to see him I do all of his projects that he had in mind. But Scar is a man that you would say is living his purpose because he apparently, as far as I can tell watching his videos, loves to build, loves to create, just the joy of creation. That is the feeling or the emotion that he is uh, sharing through his videos with everybody else. So that's how he serves. That's his way of serving sharing that joy of creation with everybody that watches his videos. Another example, probably before a lot of your time, would be Bob Ross. Bob Ross shared the joy of painting, creating through painting and doing the happy little trees. And he probably had a little bit of teaching and enjoyed that uh, as well. And his purpose was sharing that, uh, learn, uh, sharing how to teach, sharing teaching people how to paint with the world. Uh, my English words are all messed up again today. He brought that joy of painting, of making marks on paper, of drawing all that stuff to the world through his uh, joy of painting series that he did. And a lot of people probably learned how to paint and became artists because of his work. I assume that's something that a purpose does eventually as it unfolds, it uh, increases uh, the desire of other people to do said thing. So given my rudimentary understanding of what a purpose is, I started asking myself, okay, what feeling is it that fills me with joy if it helps me uh, have bliss or helps me feel bliss? That uh, makes me happy. What feeling is it that brings a lot of happiness to me that I could find a way to share with the world and in that way uh, be of service to others uh, by sharing that feeling? Uh, in, in what way can I share the feeling that would be in service to others? Uh, we, we all know that uh, what Bob Ross was sharing was this painting, learning how to paint, and what Scar is Sharing is the joy of creativity. Well, what I happen to really enjoy, and it can be expressed multiple ways, but I really enjoy the feeling I get when I solve a particularly uh, 
hard or difficult problem, particularly challenging problem. Uh, I actually used to get a bit of a buzz, I guess you'd say, off of beating a particularly hard diff or a hard game, hard video game, or a difficult part in a game. Um, that would bring me a lot of joy. I got it again when I was helping at the help desk with the college when I was go to college I help people fix their computers so this problem solving it brings me joy teaching not so much but teaching is something that I am good at doing and I could consider teaching as maybe part of it and another thing would be of course the same thing that Scar is sharing with everybody and that's just the sure joy of creating something just the sheer joy of building, of creating, and I'm expressing that through Minecraft right at the moment. So, in what way can I now take that feeling and find a way to share it with the world in a, in a way of serving? How can I turn that into a, a way of serving and sharing that with the world and serving the world? And I'm not saying the words correctly. He has a more eloquent put, put in his book, but I'm not going to pull it out right now and read it to you. But something about uh, sharing the feeling with the world and um, being of service through doing that. And I was thinking about, I was thinking, well, Scar is giving me an example right right now because um, if I just watch his videos, I can see what he's doing. He is sharing his joy of creativity, of making these crazy mind track and not just that also interacting and playing with his friends uh, friendship is a big thing for scar i think that's the impression i get anyway but he's been sharing that in his videos that he does for minecraft right now now he started with some call of duty but i guess he's just gone to minecraft i did some genshin impact some uru and some other stuff uh, not uru but uh that other video game by them, I can't remember the name right now. It's blanking abduction, yeah. And there's been other games I've tried to do videos for, but right now for me, it's also Minecraft. So Scar would be my example. I have to find a way in my videos to share that joy of creativity and the joy of problem solving with you. And then the way I'm being of service to you is by sharing that uh, stuff in videos that I then release to YouTube. So in creating content for YouTube, I'm providing you entertainment at the same time sharing that feeling with you. So I think that's how I can live my purpose. Provided, of course, that purpose really is an emotion or a feeling and and I'm on the right track here with all these thoughts. Anyway, we didn't get to working on the village. I'm going to exit this video and start another video and start in on that. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and let me know what you think in the comments below.